Hello and welcome everybody to Ilanus Labs. So in the previous two videos, we talked about how to use CV2's inrange function and the standard threshold function to do uh, thresholding operations uh, for purposes of image segmentation and whatever else you want to use it for. Now we're going to talk about adapted threshold, which is another one of the inbuilt functions uh, for OpenCV. And as I've already typed it out over here, the function we're going to be using is CV2 dot adapted threshold. Now we already have some code in here. I've imported CV2 and matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. And we've imported the image, converted it to grayscale and displayed it over here. Now this picture I'm using here is in fact from a paper called adapter threshold using the integral image. It's a really good paper. I encourage you guys to have a read through it if you want to get to the nitty gritty detail of thresholding, well, especially adapted thresholding. But going back to just the implementation element of this, what we're going to do is we're going to use the standard thresholding first, kind of show you why it doesn't work in a picture like this. And then after that, we'll use the actual adaptive thresholding. So uh, the primary use of this kind of adaptive thresholding is in situations where you have uh, this sort of varying illumination because your box standard threshold uh, function doesn't really work. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so here's what we got. Uh, this is definitely not what we want. What we really want to do is we want to be able to see this text over here a heck of a lot clearly. You know, the one that's kind of covered over the shadow, I want to see it really, really clearly. Uh, now, we can have a play around with this, uh, and I encourage you guys to look at the previous video where we do play around with some of these variables and go into a little bit more depth, but you will see that whatever I put over here, we're not getting that full text. Okay, so we're just going to uh, leave it be, and we're going to start using the adaptive threshold function. So if you type cv2 dot, oops, adaptive threshold. So there are a couple of things we're going to pass in. It's the source image, the maximum value, which is just going to put 255, the adaptive method that we want to use. So there are two kinds of adaptive methods. There's the mean method and the Gaussian method, and all you really need to do is you need to change the input that you put in over here for the adaptive method. And then the threshold type has to be either a trash binary or a trash binary inverse. And then we have block size, uh, which is the size of the pixel neighborhood that is used to calculate a threshold value. And then we have a constant. Uh, and if you guys want to get more details on it, obviously you can uh, open up this thing and read it. Or what I'll do is in the description section below, I will include a link to this which will give you all their nitty gritty details of this function. So let's pass in the variables. And we're gonna pass in a block size of, uh, let's just say five and a constant of one. So let me equate this to th and let's see what this output looks like. Okay, that is slightly better. It could definitely be better. So let's actually play around with these two variables and. Uh, See if you can improve that picture. Okay, so that is way better than what we had earlier, and it's definitely better than this one. So you can see how adaptive thresholding deals with varying levels of illumination way better than the standard threshold function. All right, everybody, that is the end of this quick tutorial. If you have more questions, please leave it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this material, Hit the subscribe and notify button and I will get back to you with more videos on OpenCV.